Hello! How's everyone doing today? I am Kayleen Volker and I have jumped on today to talk to you a little bit about a project I've been working on. Um, I'm doing a collaboration with RTS Scrapbooking on YouTube and we are working with the uh, Scrapbook Generations uh, Allison Davis 6x6 class that she has. If you have not picked that up, I would go over there, jump over there, and grab that class. It is an amazing class. It is a great way to use up your 6x6 paper pads. And you can also, even if you don't have 6x6 paper pads, you can cut your 12x12s down. You've got four pieces that, that um, coordinate. And it is just a great way. I got a lot of pictures on the pages. And I really, I really enjoyed doing it. Um, and the amazing thing that I had fun with, Allison Davis is very much into sewing on her pages, and I was surprised. I really enjoyed that. I think I will probably incorporate that into my scrapbooking going forward. So excited. So this was, there were 11 layouts in the class, and this was my take on the first one. And then here we go. I've tried this video like four times, so my stuff's all messed up here. So this is number two. I like how this goes together. This is actually love this paper. Um, and I like how this came together and the sewing really makes those pop off of the page. thought that was pretty cool. And um, then we're off to concert band. And I will do this one again. I really like this. And I might cut them down a little bit and do six. I like how this turned out. I like the way that it makes the pages really flow together um, with the uh, the instrument there. I thought that was pretty cool. And then off to the next one. This one I was able to incorporate a punch I had not used that I've had for a little while. So I was pretty excited about that. And I like the way it looked. Um, I like the way the, the colors bounced off of them. And um, this paper pack which was actually, I, it was a weird thing that I bought. They were 12 by 6 papers, and so I was able to just cut those in half and use them. This one right here, I love that paper. I think I actually might have that in 12 by 12 also. <laughs> so yeah, I really do like that paper. <laughs> and then I had to break out some glitter. Not a real glitter fan, but um, I do like how this page turned out. Uh, it's pictures of the Missouri River, and... It, uh, I love this. I think it looks patchwork, and so it kind of looks like a quilt, which was kind of fun because we had went to see uh, Steamboat Arabia, and um, so it just kind of brings home the fact that that huge steamboat was coming down the Missouri River, and uh, I thought it brought it back to that. I thought that was pretty cool. Then this one, my dad's birthday. I love how this looks. I love how bright and cheery it is and uh, really looks fun. That was a fun layout. I enjoyed that one. Then moving on, the next one that I did, um, I changed this one up a bit because I had way more pictures than what she had on there. So I added more pictures to this one and, and uh, I like how the balance is of it and I love the brick background. That's one of my favorite things to do. And I like how the pictures messed with the, the things. And of course the sewing. Love the sewing. Then we're off to RenFest, which we had a great time at RenFest. Um, I love these banners. And I will do this again. This looks really cool. And to be able to just take a 6x6 six six and cut them in half and then notch out the bottom. And I laid one on top of the other one. So they all matched, and I really liked that layout, and it just went perfectly with these pictures. So that's pretty cool. Now this layout here is not completely done. Um, I have a title and some embellishments that I bought for this specific layout, and um, I cannot find them. So I'm on a mission to find them, but um, I really like how this turned out um, and using up all those little scraps that you have. I think it looks really cool, but I will incorporate the title right here and then the embellishments that I have I'll put on there, but I thought that was pretty cool. Then here's another Renaissance Festival. I absolutely love this paper. I don't know if you can tell, kind of 
I bet the background is shimmery. I think that looks really neat. I'm not even sure where I got that, but I like it. And then these are vellum pieces, um, which I mixed up, and I, I think that turned out really cool. This group here is so funny at the Run Fest. We go see them every year. So, too, too fun. And then here's my last one. This is a number 11, I believe. And I like how I was able to use up the different pieces of paper that were left over from the other ones that I had done. And, of course, sewing on it is really fun. Um, I do have that same pack that has the... that's going to go on the other page. There's some embellishments that I know will incorporate into this also. So, um, thank you so much to Janet and at RTS Scrapbooking and to uh, our group, Love RTS. Um, I have gotten so much from them and... I've been cranking out some pages using that 4x4 series, too, so go check out that on Janet's. And um, this was really fun. It really got me out of my comfort zone, and I really like it. So uh, thank you, Janet, and um, hope you guys enjoy my layouts, and have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye.